Hi. Hey folks. So, once again, I wasn't going to make a video today. But something happened, now I have to. <laughs> so I didn't do much, I just, I went to Timmy's. And I just went to get my coffee. Because the roll-up being on, I didn't want to miss an opportunity. I've already missed two days. So I didn't want to miss an opportunity for a roll-up. So I get there, and the line wasn't long, but it took a long time to move through. It was slow. So I got up to the window, and the guy in front of me paid for my coffee. Thank you, sir. I hope you win something with your roll-up. <laughs> I didn't get a roll-up, so I made the decision I'm going to go out again tonight. So I get an opportunity to roll up. It's okay. I don't mind two Timmy's in a single day. So, nice thing is, it was sort of kind of raining when I went out. It's not now, but there, there's a risk there. I might get rained on a little bit while I'm out. But the temperature at that time was 17. And now, it's 18. It is 20 after 8 p.m. I got everything done early today. It was nice, perfect. I have a video rendering right now. So everything's done for the day. Nice and early. So it's perfect timing. Quote. Um. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Uh, the next two days are the possible days that they gave me that they will be opening the dam. I'm now sleeping nights again and mornings. <laughs> I guess I'm not going to get time lapse of the water level dropping, which I figured that was going to happen. But, oh well. What can you do, right? So, yesterday I finished my sketchy tour video. I had a lot of issues with that video. Um, <clears throat> the image stabilization. I didn't apply it ahead of time because I was planning on doing it a different way and I ended up doing you know, like I normally do. So I tried to add the stabilization after. I'm not sure what happened, but something messed up big time with it. And I did the, the whole video as one file and then replaced the multiple parts that were in there. And somehow I lost audio on a couple parts as well. So things got kind of messed up. I just don't have time to redo it. So I didn't bother with it. But it's just, <laughs> those black bars that show up when I'm turning day are not supposed to be there. And they were, I, I've never seen them that bad. They were really, really bad. So I messed up big time on that one. <laughs> when I saw it, I was like, oh no. Because <laughs> I would, that's something I would have fixed. But like I say, I just didn't have the time. So I'm going out tonight and... You remember last time I was out at night, my bumper light stopped working. So I am going to take a look and see if I can figure out why. Before I go out tonight, I got lots of time. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, the most amount of time will probably be taking that stupid cover off and putting it back on. So it shouldn't take long to figure out what's wrong with it. Because like I say, I'm, I'm assuming it's the relay. If I was to guess one thing, eh, that would be it. So, I'm going to take a quick look at that. Which means I'm about to switch cameras. <laughs> I am now totally confused. <laughs> I decided to try it again before I, I opened everything up. It flickered a little bit, and then it came on normally. So it, it's like normal brightness now, and I keep trying. <laughs> Do I trust it <laughs> to keep working while I'm out? Oh, I don't know. But it's working at this very moment. So... <laughs> Let's go for a tour!
I'm actually glad I went out tonight. Uh, I mentioned it was warmer than it was when I was out earlier. Yeah, it's also windier. There's actually quite a breeze. I had to, this hat doesn't fit as tight as my gray one does, so I have to keep tightening it up. As the wind keep, kept blowing it back on me. It's pretty breezy, but it's beautiful. I don't think I even needed my jacket. It's it's so nice out. Just beautiful tonight. So I noticed along my tour, I could see lights flashing off in the distance, like a, a, a tower, a vertical tower with red lights up it. I don't recall ever seeing that before. So we got our new FGT. F being 5, G being G, and T being tower. I can't say those words. <laughs> because of YouTube's algorithm, they don't like people talking about that. I just wonder if that's another one. Because I can say, I've never noticed it before. All the times I drove through that at night, I could see it off in the distance. I don't recall ever seeing a tower in that particular area before. So I'm just kind of wondering if there's another tower that went up. That, that one will be out of town. Uh, stop down at the boat launch. The water is up on the concrete slab again. So the river's flooding. Well, not flooding, but swollen again. I don't recall getting that much rain. Um, it would have been... 24 hours ago anyways for it to be up at this particular time so it would have been last night we have got rain not I wouldn't say a lot but just off and on for the last little while and nothing heavy so why is the river up? So I got thinking maybe somebody might have opened a dam upstream so if that's the case and chances are, unless it's gone back down by tomorrow, <laughs> I don't know about that, then I don't think our dam's going to be open tomorrow. Or actually, well, tomorrow being Thanksgiving, so the day after. Um, oh, by the way, when I said Thanksgiving tomorrow, I mean Canadian Thanksgiving, not uh, United States Thanksgiving. But I'm so far behind in my videos right now, by the time you see this, it might be <laughs> the U.S. Thanksgiving. <laughs> but I'm referring to you know, Canadian Thanksgiving, which will be October 11th. So I'm thinking, well, maybe somebody opened a dam somewhere. So I decided to check the other part of the river. I went up to the soccer field, and it's up. Um... I can't park where I normally do. If I park beside my tree, I would be in the water. Like, in fairly deep water. So, it's definitely up there. So I decided to check the other river. And it's up too. It's not up a lot, but it is. So that kind of kills my theory of somebody opening a dam. Unless dams were open on both rivers. I don't know. I just, I can't figure it out, because we, I don't recall getting that much rain to raise the river levels up that high. And it's still going up, because I, I took a video of it. Uh, I'm not sure what you can see with the overhead camera. So I used my phone, and you can see a sharp edge along the water. If it had been at that height, or even higher, and on its way down, there would be a, a strip of wet you know, ahead of the water line, but no, the water line is right at where the water is. And in some cases, the water was actually passing it, creating a new water line. So it's, it's on its way up right now. And I just, I can't figure it out. Because it's usually 24 hours after a rain, and I... I really don't recall getting rain last night that much, at least, anyways. Because we've been getting, like, spottiness off and on. So, I don't know. I don't know where it's coming from. Only thing I can think of is when I went out yesterday and that rain was to the east of us, because it was kind of moving south to north, 
but it was all just to the east of us, of us and I went out yesterday expecting to get wet and I didn't. Maybe that was heavier rain than I thought it was. I don't know. Kind of freaky, actually. <laughs> yeah, we don't get any rain, but we get the flooding from it. Wow. So I stopped down at the dam the second time. And my lights are actually, my bumper lights are actually pretty bright. And I, I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera or not, but I, I can see it pretty good. There's water coming through all parts of the dam again. Speaking of my bumper light. I worked the whole time I was out. Didn't have any issues. Okay, I thought that was thunder. <laughs> it's a jet going over. Uh, I stopped out on the highway and I accidentally turned the light off. I'm thinking, oh crap. I figured, okay, well it's off now. I'll wait to see what happens when I'm ready to leave and turn it back on. So I was ready to go and it came back on no problem. So after I went up to check out the other river came back out to the road and I was almost done my coffee so I decided to finish it off before I went home and grab a second one yeah. and turned everything off I was sitting there with just my parking lights I guess everything but the headlights on and when I went to leave I went to turn my bumper light on and again it didn't come on it's doing the same thing now so I have a theory. I think I now believe it is the relay, and I think it might be overheating. That's what it's going to do. I'll be right back. Okay. So apparently I was wrong. I didn't have a two pack. I had a four pack, and this one is not open. So I just grabbed one. <laughs> <clears throat> so now I'm going to have two open packages. So I am going to see what the rating is on this. Forty amp. Twenty-four volts, forty amp. So my headlight is 120 watts. So divide that by ten would be twelve. 120 watts, twenty-four volts. So divide that by 12 volts, you get 10 amps, so 24 volts would be 5 amps. Well below the 40 amp limit on this. So does that mean they're just really cheap garbage? I don't know, guys. So I've got... Well, obviously three more relays. <laughs> <coughs> Made in China. This is right on the package. So maybe that's why I got a, got a good deal on it. Maybe it's a cheap quality, a cheaper, cheaper quality one. Low end. I don't know. But like I say, I've, I've got three others. So I'll just change it and see what uh, difference that makes. But like I say, it's like it worked fine tonight when I, when I went out. So... Maybe that's just the issue. Maybe it's just overheating and just doesn't want to work. Because I don't have an issue with it until I turn it off. And then it won't come on again. So, I don't know. That's my theory. I kind of figured it was the relay. That's the only thing it could be. The switch is obviously working. The wires are nice and tight. Nothing's shorting because, well, that would affect everything else. And I'm not smelling anything that the fuse would go. It is fused, so if it was shorting, it would go... Bzzz. And it wouldn't work anymore. So, I don't know what to say. I'm gonna guess that's what it is. It's the relay. So, eventually, at some point, I will check that. <sighs> like I say, I was going actually going to do that tonight before I went out. I was gonna check that. I was gonna change the relay and see if that's what the issue was. But it was working. So I suspect if I go out again tomorrow night, it'll work tomorrow night too, until I turn it off. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. So I guess that's all I got. Um, I guess by going out tonight, I kind of created a situation where I have to go out again tomorrow now. 
and make another video because I want to go check the river and see what's going on with those. If they've gone up any higher or if they've gone down. I guess I'll find out. So I might get caught up in my videos eventually. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Hey, after that here. So I'm gonna uh, show you see it's doing the exact same thing it did before. Turn it on, it flashes, and then just kind of sits there and flickers. Until I turn it off and it kind of flashes a little bit again and it goes off. So one thing I forgot to mention, while I was sitting down at the river, uh, the second part of the river, uh, I kind of got an indication of just how bright this light is. Uh, I came up to a trail and I turned the lights off when I got to the main street and I decided to turn uh, the light, the bumper light I decided to turn it back on so I'm going to downtown and I'm on the left side of the road so I'm facing traffic and I decided not to turn it off well there's a police car sitting at the red light and I didn't turn my light off I went by him and yeah, avoided the <laughs> crosswalk <laughs> Because it's a five, that five-way intersection, it, it's weird. Instead of going straight across where the two roads are, it kind of goes to the left and to the sidewalk on that side and then crosses the other one. I, I just go straight through. A lot of people do. So he didn't say anything about that. And he didn't come back and say, hey, your light's too bright or anything. If anybody's going to point out that my light's too bright, it's going to be a police officer, right? So I never said anything. Yeah, I got down at the end of that laneway as they're looking at the river and I can actually see the highway bridge I can see the river and I can see that bridge that's how bright this light is like that just blows my mind I could see that far so it's it's pretty bright and nobody's complained about it yet but I, I couldn't see any there was no water up in the floodplain there so I just I heard a splash behind me the sword kind of behind me so I just kind of turned the monster and oh look there's water in there well, it is actually, up. that's how I determined that river is actually up as well. So I just kind of forgot to mention that part of it. But that light is, like I say, this this light, it's like a car headlight. It's, it's amazing. And it just lights everything up so that the camera can see you, which is exactly what I wanted. So, <laughs> But I didn't realize until now, just tonight, I never really realized just how far that light travels. It's, that's amazing. I know the camera won't see it, but... I can see it pretty good, so I just I'm amazed. So I just thought I'd mention that. I show you the headlight I'll just doing again and just point out that this light's really bright, but the police officer did not say anything about it. But yet anyways, at some point somebody might, but you know. I've had no feedback. I've had nobody say anything good or bad, so I don't know exactly how it's affecting people. So all I know is if I'm if I'm in a dark area like downtown it's it's lit up anyway so if I'm blinding people with the light then there's, they'll still be able to see where they're driving but like I say if I'm out on the highway if I come down into down by McDonald's or I'm on the the side facing traffic I'll turn it off then for sure because it's pretty dark out there yeah at which point I can't see where I'm going so <laughs> you just gotta slow down no big deal so anyway that's all I got that's my afterthought <laughs>